Well, that's super great. I've been eating and talking to myself and not recording it for probably five minutes. <laughs> Thankfully, I still have some of all of the ramen that I have been eating. All right, we'll back up. So, uh, we had a local grocery store, really amazing, had a whole aisle devoted to ramen. So when it shut down, um, I went and just bought a bunch of, of ramens I had never tried. So I haven't tried any of these before, except for the few minutes before when I wasn't recording. Um, but I figured since the holidays are upon us and it's really cold and rainy out today, what better way to spend my day than to sit here and eat some warm, wonderful soup and chat with you all. So we'll go back to this one. <clears throat> this is the first soup. There is some of it left, but it's like a rice noodle. And it's a uh, Tom Young style soup. So um, I think that is Thai. So I'll try that again for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Thankfully, I still have some. Mm, mm hmm so there's like chili and lime in this one and a lot of the mm, a lot of the soups came with um, fresh ginger and garlic packets so this one the second one here <clears throat> looks more like the, the typical ramen that you just buy at your regular grocery store. Ones that are usually like 15 to 18 cents a packet. But I think these were all in the dollar range, I want to say. So this one's just uh, Mama Company. It's chicken flavored. And I did have some of it <laughs> just a little bit ago. So I know that it just tastes kind of like chicken. So I'm going to add my favorite, Sriracha. Mm. Love that. <sighs> Just so glad I caught that. I could have done this whole show and not realized that I wasn't filming. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so good with the sriracha. Oh geez. That's a fail. This looks like one of the garlic packets that I just found it in my soup. But I didn't add to the soup. Oh, it's, it's an oil. Okay, sure. I bet it's a chili oil or something. Set down over in there. Man, clumsy today. This is my first meal of the day, so I'm really hungry, a little bit shaky. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I'm still shaky. Mm. Mm hmm. Like a chili garlic oil, I think. Hmm. Guys, I'm so appreciative to all of you for the comments you leave, but I'm super curious, since I'm doing this today, what your favorite wintertime comfort foods are. I love mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. I have to say this ramen is really hitting the spot today. And soup is so great in rainy days. So yeah, comment down below. I want to hear what everybody likes to eat in the winter time. Hmm. Mm hmm. I put <clears throat> hard-boiled eggs in all of these. I wanted them to be. Hmm. 
wanted them to be a bit more of like a medium foil, but I guess I overcooked them. At least I didn't overcook them to the point that the yolks turn grayish green. That always grosses me out. I just got some blood orange seltzer water today. Mm. Yup. All right, <clears throat> we'll come back to those. So this one also looks more like a traditional ramen. This one I can't read. What does it say in the back? Padki Mao is what these are. Okay. This one had like a, a green gloopy sauce that you put in there that I'm curious about. Yeah, the broth looks a bit green. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. What is that flavor? Mm. Reminds me like tomatillo sauce. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's good. <clears throat> Shout out to <clears throat> my friend one like a Honda mechanic. He convinced me to buy this tiger sauce. It's really good. <clears throat> it's kind of sweet. I use some of that. Hmm. The broth is so flavorful in this. You can't really taste the hot sauce. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's such a gloomy day today. Very disappointing. <clears throat> I'm gonna try this one. Oh, there's a little heat. Okay, so this one's pork flavored. Moon on top. And hopefully there are no more Hidden sauce packets. Mmm. <clears throat> mm hmm. That has an awesome flavor. Mm -hmm. That is so good. <clears throat> mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's in it, but I love it. Mm. 
So, in addition to like what you guys like to eat this time of year, um, I wonder what kind of like winter activities you love. Uh, Izzy and I are gonna go volunteer this evening. I think it's a Christmas tree lighting in one of our local towns. Excuse me. Seltzer water makes me burp. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so we're gonna go volunteer for this Christmas lighting. I guess the Kiwanis Club needs our help. So <clears throat> that's what we're doing. And then Bishop is going to be uh, with his high school band. They're gonna be in the parade tonight. So he's playing the quads, which is very exciting. Okay, let's What's this one? Okay, so this is rice noodles as well. Just says oriental style instant rice uh, vermicelli. So I have no idea what the flavors are. There's garlic powder in it, pepper powder, chili powder, dried leeks. Ooh, I like leeks. Mm, I need to readjust. My foot was falling asleep. That's better. What do you think of my antlers? I like them. I think I'll wear a funny headpiece in my next video too. <clears throat> okay. These rice noodles are just absolutely decadent. <laughs> Is Izzy getting excited up there? <laughs> hmm. That was a poorly performed bite. Hold on. Mmm. 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 I'm not sure about this one. It's okay. It's not bad. Mm. That's a happy egg dance. <clears throat> mm. Mm. I think that was a garbage disposal. Not my friend, the garbage disposal, like the actual garbage disposal. <laughs> <clears throat> I think the greatest reaction out of me is pretty amazing. But this one had a really interesting flavor. And this was definitely my preferred rice noodle. <clears throat> Which one was this? The Tom Yum? Yeah. Mm. Uh, ooh. Ooh, the Cholula. Might actually be good in this. This ramen video is so much more enjoyable than the last one I made. I need more of that. The only problem with this particular hot sauce, it has really great flavor, but I always feel like I need to use like half the bottle. <clears throat> okay. I feel like I'm eating like Veronica, Veronica Wang. 
This might be a <clears throat> good opportunity to clickbait title this with her name, Eating Like Veronica Wang. <clears throat> She's notorious for overstuffing her mouth. You were so loud, bitch. <laughs> That's the fun thing about filming in this house. It's not like I can tell my family, go away, pretend you're not here. I mean, I kind of try to, but they don't. They're always here. Which is good, because I love them. <clears throat> and it's always good to be grateful, but especially this time of year, I think gratitude is really important. Family's really important. Mm-hmm. Spending time together. Being warm and cozy. Mm. I love it. And Blake got the kids these really cool advent calendars this year. They're um they're Lego sets. So each day of December, they get to open a new piece. Cracking me up. <clears throat> anyway, each day of December, they get to open a new piece and assemble a little uh, Lego figurine to create a scene. So Bishop has Harry Potter and, uh, oh. sorry. Bishop has Harry Potter and Isabel has Star Wars. Ooh, speaking of which, how many of you caved and got Disney Plus and are watching The Mandalorian? I don't think I'm all caught up. I think we watched the first four episodes. The Baby Yoda. Oh, guys. It melts my heart. Mmm. I love Baby Yoda. Mm. Oh, that broth is a lot of salt when you drink it like that. <clears throat> Took me by surprise. That's how you know it was a good meal. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is the one I put the sriracha in. <laughs> Noodles are so little and broken now. I can't get them. They're slippery on my chopstick. <clears throat> I think this might be my favorite mukbang that I've made steak. I don't get my boo. Good job, you, Katie. Good job. Mm. More accurately, good job to Mama Company. Amazing. Amazing. And then whatever company this one is. Oh, and also says Mama in the corner. I guess they're all Mama? Mama. This one has two? This one has that same insignia as the green package, but... Oh, yep. 
It's his mama in the back. They're all mama. Mama Roman. Perfect for your mama. Perfect for this mama. Mm. 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 That one's really greasy. But I like it. Wow. Well, I could sit here and pick up the little bits left over and drink all of the broth. I think that's a lot of salt. Ooh. I feel like I could use a nap now. That was a lot of warm broth <clears throat> and carbs. Excellent. Most excellent, my friends. Well, I hope that you're having a wonderful holiday season. Excuse me. I hope you're getting out and doing fun things with your family and friends and that you're eating lots and lots of comfort food and just staying positive and uh, Good, good time of year. A lot of people love this time of year. Some people make them a little sad, and that's okay too. So I think it's important to check in with your friends. Make sure they're doing all right. This can be a really rough season if people have lost loved ones or just life has changed and the traditions they once had, they can't enact anymore. So definitely look out for the people around you. But with that, I am... Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest eater, and this was the Mama Ramen Challenge. Not a challenge. Why am I calling it a challenge? Mama Ramen Mukbang. And I will see you guys later. Bye.